I want to go back to the Himalayas, the Garhwal Himalayas and Meru, which is where it is located. In India and in Nepal, they have a very different attitude towards mountains. And when you climb a mountain or when you go on a journey, you do puja or you do prayer. How much of it has rubbed off to you? Because you have spent extended amount of time in that part of the world. You know, you've climbed Everest three times and you've climbed other peaks and Meru. So I'm wondering, have you seen a change in your attitude towards mountain as compared to when you were, say, a 20-something? Great question. The um, first time I went to the Himalaya, it, it was a trip to India in 1988 in uh, Jammu and Kashmir. And the... Um, the trip to Meru is very special because it's uh, the Ganga River. It's the source of the Ganga River. And uh, with Bhagarathi, Shivling, and Meru, they're all central parts of the Hindu creation story. And so when we departed Gangotri, which is uh, the end of the road and the start of the trekking there, we visited with the sadhus, the holy men that have renounced material living and live off the benevolence of other people. And the the... One man, that, the clicking Baba, who um, is sort of the, the, the oldest and most revered sadhu in the town, we went and visited him each time. Right, because yeah. if he had been, oh, this is the wrong thing to do and you shouldn't go up there, we would, have, we would ask questions. Is this, do we need to go climbing there? So, but he was uh, very inquisitive. He's like, oh, there's something that's calling you there. You, you're on a pilgrimage, and I want to know about this and bring back a piece of rock from there and tell me what you see. So um, there was uh, to have their blessing with it, and it gave us an auspicious start. Yeah, and he sent us up with a mantra, you know, that he said, you know, this is the mantra you should, you know, take up there. Obviously, we chanted the mantra a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> every day, multiple times, yes. Ooh.